right, Heather, now that the suspect is behind bars, Sonny Chung is speaking out. He says the suspect had the suspect had been in his nail shop before and he can't understand why she wouldn't just talk to them and say she couldn't pay instead of killing the love of his life. I keep swimming. I tell her, guys, stop, stop, but she keep go harder. Sonny Chung is the man you see in this video running behind his longtime girlfriend, Nak Nu Nguyen, also known as Annie. This is the woman they were chasing, 21-year-old Crystal Whipple. Police say Whipple got a $35 manicure in Annie's nail shop on West Flamingo Road and then tried to take off without paying. Sonny says it all happened too fast. They ran out after the suspect as she was reversing from her parking spot, and before he knew it, he says Annie jumped in front of Whipple's car. Thinking back on that moment, would you have done anything differently? During that moment, next day, I sit there, I think over it, I go back slow motion, there's no way, nothing I can do about it, because reaction she did so quick, and I'm right behind her, and at the same time, I yell and I say, stop, and I tell honey, get out of the way, don't be in the front of the car. Police say the suspect ran Annie over and dragged her nearly 50 feet before she sped off. Annie's lifeless body left lying in the parking lot. She kept stepped up gas, so she can't get out of the hood, She's traveling on the front of the hood, and I can't pull the car back. Mm. I hold the car right there. I try to pull it back, and I try to run fast. I can't even get passed by the car because she's stuck down under the front wheel. Mm. She put both hands out and looked at me for help. Whipple's mugshot was plastered on websites and TVs across the country. And after two weeks on the run, FBI agents arrested her in Glendale, Arizona, Friday morning. Sonny says he's relieved that she's behind bars. But it's a shame two lives have now gone down the drain over a $35 manicure. I feel sorry for her, you know what I mean? Because I, I believe she's scared. That's why she took off so fast. Wow. Yeah, Whipple is now facing murder and burglary charges. There's no word on when she'll be extradited to Las Vegas. But on a side note, Heather, Sonny says that uh, ever since Annie died, he's been fired from her nail shop, kicked out of her home, oh. uh, and now he's without a place to live. So he has set up a GoFundMe account. And if you would like more information on how you can help, of course, head over to our website, news3lv.com. Just heartbreaking to see that unfold before you, not being able to help. What Absolutely. a terrible I can't, thing. You know, I can't imagine what he's going through. Good interview. Thank Thanks. you.